Now children, we are on page number 150. And in this, we have to draw the hands to show the time given below each block. Now the clocks are drawn on your page, in, on your book. Now, simply what you have to draw, you have to just draw the hands. And the timing, the time is given below each clock. Now the first one is done. Let me move on to second one. Now in this clock, we have to draw hands which shows 11 o'clock. That means the time in this clock should be 11 o'clock. Children, I hope you remember that as I told you in the previous videos, in the last class, that we are having two hands in a clock one is bigger hand and one is smaller hand and what is this bigger hand denotes bigger hand denotes the minutes so let me first draw the minute hand so starting with the center you can use a scale also children draw a bigger hand you can draw an arrow also not important but if you want you can draw an arrow so first show the hand which points towards 12 right so this is the minute hand it should be bigger bigger than what which i'll be drawing the next because our hand is the smaller one so the time here is given as 11 o'clock so that means the shorter hand should point towards 11 and it should be smaller than the minute hand right so I again, I will repeat again, the time in this clock is 11 o'clock. So I have to draw the hands accordingly, which shows 11 o'clock. So children, first I will try to draw the minute hand. And remember the minute hand should be bigger than the hour hand. So I have drawn this pointing towards 12. And this is the minute hand. And next, I have to check the time. It is 11 o'clock. So next ray or the next arm or the next hand which I will draw will point towards the 11 num number 11. And it should be smaller than the minute hand. As our hand is always smaller than the minute hand. Children, if any doubt, let me know. 